Well, the title of it is Iconic Reflections, and I'm going to focus on uh, concepts and people that represent the best in the restaurant industry. Uh, the way that it ties into Gonzaga and, and my Jesuit education is that uh, the Jesuit philosophy of, of service to others really prepared me very well for the restaurant business. Um, we look for people that share that same commitment and at the risk of oversimplifying there are kinds of there are two uh, groups of people people that that want to serve and people that want to be served and we really look for people that want to serve uh, we call it a servant mentality and if someone has that they'll excel in the restaurant business Well, the, the, it was a great business to grow up in, and I, and I love the business, and I think part of the love is how early I started. Uh, my father uh, was a lifelong restaurateur, and his third restaurant venture was KFC. He was actually the seventh franchisee of Colonel Sanders. And the Colonel was really much more than a franchisor to my father. He was a, a close friend and someone that my father thought of as a father after my grandfather passed away. And because of their special relationship, uh, the Colonel visited us regularly uh, until the last few years of his life. And when he visited, he'd stay in our home. And uh, that made me very popular with the other kids in the neighborhood, but <laughs> more importantly, gave me an opportunity to, to really know this unique man. Well, the Colonel had such a passion for food, um, a, an absolute perfectionist when it came to food quality. And that's really the foundation of what we do in the restaurant business. Uh, you'll hear people that will tell you that service is more important or ambiance is more important. Nothing is more important than food. And, and I really learned that from the Colonel. It starts with absolute dedication, uh, a passion for quality, uh, unwavering integrity, commitment to people, competitive spirit, and entrepreneurial spirit. Those six elements are, are key to success in the restaurant business. My parents, uh, my father, certainly professionally, uh, he had such a, a commitment, such a, an energy about everything he did. Uh, he believed that anything one set their mind to, they could and should accomplish. Um, and he demonstrated that in, in his life. It's how he lived his and it's how he taught us to live ours. Uh, my mother who taught me to do everything in a way that, that I and my family would ultimately be proud of. Well, Gonzaga was such an intimate community that it really taught me the importance of community and it's something that we think about in everything we do, both personally and professionally. And I don't think I would have had such a keen awareness of that were it not for my experience in this amazing community. With Krispy Kreme, we had an obligation to develop in a, on a certain schedule and we quadrupled in size uh, in a one-year period of time. And the conventional wisdom in the restaurant business is you can't grow more than one-third in any year. Uh, if you grow more than that, you either overtax your infrastructure or you have to bring in so many people from the outside that you dilute your culture, neither of which are great alternatives. My advice would be to, to really know themselves, um, know what their strengths are, and leverage those strengths. Because if they do that, there's really no limit to what they can exceed. You know, we live in the greatest, most entrepreneurial country in the world, and, and opportunities out there for people that will pursue it.